Hi folks, uh, in this video tutorial I want to show you um, some more texturing techniques and we're going to be looking at uh, tiling textures in Maya. So um, this is the sort of thing that we're after. Um, this technique is good for things like walls and roads, um, any part of your level which requires a nice simple texture that you don't want to um, spend too much time on, you want to just get a nice um, basic texture there and then repeat that, um, saving you um, obviously uh, uh, resolution um, and meaning that you can use um, smaller materials, smaller images, um, lower resolution textures and repeat them uh, a number of times to create the illusion of something looking very detailed. And, and nice and, and high resolution. So what I'm going to do here is just create a very simple um, wall and show you methods for tiling a seamless texture over that. Now all I'm going to do is, is I've just created a polygon here. I'm going to uh, make this a little bit longer and um, I'll bring the height up to 2 maybe. The depth can come down a bit. So maybe 0 0.1 nice and thin wall and then the width let's go with uh, 20 okay let's just round it up to nice even figures I'm just gonna move that up now okay so let's just say I want to have a texture on this um, that repeats all along um, what I need to do is um, find a seamless texture to use for this now you can make them in Photoshop or um, if you're just wanting to have a little bit of an experiment with this, have a Google for seamless texture Maya or seamless wall texture, um, something uh, along those lines. Where maybe you want to do something else instead of a wall, you want to do stonework or something, and and try and find a, a nice high resolution image um, for you to use. So um, you can actually set the tools to select by size and then pick large if you want to go for a, a high quality image. I think the one I found was was here and this is from a uh, texture site. Um, I think it was one of these, I can't remember which one it was. Um, but all I did was download that as a JPEG and I made sure that in my project um, I'd set my project properly so it saved to my source images folder. So in my props, remember if we set this all up nicely We've got a source images folder here and this is where all of your materials images photoshop files all the things that you're going to be using when texturing this is where they should live so when you save all your work um, maya looks right here for your textures and you never have to lose them so i downloaded it and there it is it's a brick wall jpeg okay so you can see it's a square image uh, a seamless texture and that obviously isn't going to work with my model at the minute my wall is obviously not square we, we want to repeat this a number of times over this this one face. So what I'm going to do uh, to begin with is just create a material and that's going to be what I apply to this at the minute. So let's go to the Hypershade window and take a look at things here. So um, as I always say, remember you have got a texture on here at the minute, it's just a very boring grey Lambert. What we want to do is create a new um, Lambert um, Lambert for things like brick and concrete, anything that you don't want to have any kind of reflective quality. So I, I want this to be matte, very simple. And instead of a colour, what we need to do is on the uh, properties editor here, we need to come over and select uh, the little checker box. And this will um, allow me to uh, tell my to look for other things instead of a, a colour value. So what I'm going to do is pick file. Okay, so now instead of looking for a color, it's looking for um, our texture, our, our, our file, our JPEG. Um, open the little window, and if you set that up correctly, it will take you to your source images folder, so you, you don't have to go searching for things on your computer. And then we go brick wall, let's open that up. And you can see in the uh, preview window, um, we've now got a unusual teapot. And we can see what that would look like on cloth. Uh, the shader ball, um, hair, nice. Um, so we can start to see how that's going to look when we start applying that to objects in our scene. And let's let's do that now. Let's see what it looks like. So uh, if I have this object selected, 
Um, again, if you haven't set this up, so you've got a viewport in here, if you um, you can do that by um, window viewport and, and drag it in there. Uh, or you can just be working between the two views. And what you can do is if you double click the middle mouse button, you can drag this onto here and it will apply that material to the object. The other thing you can do is um, hold down right click and assign material to selection. And that way it will um, it will assign the material to whatever you've got selected, whether that's an object or a face. Okay, so there we go. Right, straight away, it's not looking great. So we need to do um, a few things here to make it make it work. Um, oops. If you have a look at your um, work area down here and uh, move to this, so the the, the same move. Um, shortcuts and uh, zoom shortcuts work in this view as they do in here so alt and middle mouse button to get to this bit and if you click on this um, placed 2d texture one this is um, what what Maya was using to position our um, material on our object so if you have a look on this if you haven't got it open this is the area you want so the placement attributes these are things that you can tweak to move this about and, and get it working um, more effectively. So if we just um, just have a play with these to begin with, you can see rotating it. Um, so we can, if, if it's the wrong way around, we can rotate that by 90 degrees. Or if it was um, all good, then obviously it's just zero. And repeat UV. Now with repeat UV, what you can do is tell um, Maya how many times you want it to repeat over uh, over each face. So let's just change this and start seeing what happens. So instead of one, let's do two. Um, instead of one here, let's do two. Can you see what's happening? So what, what we've got here is that um, instead of it being stretched across on the whole thing with just one and one, we can start to uh, repeat this a number of times across that same face, that same surface. So let's uh, make this five, for example. And instantly we're starting to get more of what we're after. So now it's repeated five times going this way along the wall and, and it's one time up and down. So um, if we go a bit more, let's say 10. And this one, let's do five, I don't know. And we can start to see gradually if you tweak these enough, you can start to get the, the desired effect that you're, that you're after in a very simple way without doing any UV mapping, which I know a few of you hate. So that is simply setting the repeat UV, so the tiling functionality, um, on the material itself. And um, we're, we're getting close to what we might want. If I just close this hypershade window, um, I can't see anything in here at the minute because I haven't got material selected. Dead simple, if you just click this texture button here, you can start to see what it would look like um, textured. And just close the attribute under here so we can see it a little bit more. Oop. And there we go. So, um, much better. Now, what you will notice is that we've got this nasty texture running along the top and that's because um, we haven't applied a UV map to it so again um, in future videos I will show you other ways of getting around this and applying different textures to the ends and tops of walls to, to avoid this so um, that is basic tiling and this will work really well for buildings, roads um, all of your kind of uh, main sort of hard edge surfaces in your level. So have a go at using some seamless textures and have a go at texturing um, different surfaces in your level.